and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Charioteer Race for Glory in Ancient Rome. This is from GMT Games. It's designed by Matt Calkins. It's a very thick box, not too heavy, but it's you know about a three-inch GMT box. It is not designed to be solo friendly, I understand. It's actually related as a two on solitaire suitability, but it's only a three in complexity and the game runs from one to two hours. It's two to six players. However, I will say that like some of their other racing games like uh, um, Thunder Alley, it's very easy to play solo. So we'll see, it depends on the mechanics, but uh, it's probable that you can true solo this playing all sides if you want to. So anyway, let's crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, let's get started. Here we go. First from the beginning, we have, looks like our rule book. Very nice uh, graphic design here. They've they've started to mix things up a little bit on their, uh, on their uh, game design uh, or development. Uh, so this is this is really nice. It's not your standard GMT format, but it is on a very nice matte finish paper, which they've kind of got away from in times. And this is like full bore uh, graphics. This is nice. Go straight into the setup. Here you go. In fact, let's see. The primary deck in this game is labeled Charioteer. Shuffle in place it to form a draw pile. The stack is too small. Keep half of it on the side of the board. And the stack is, oh, the stack is too tall. Keep half of it on the side of the board. So yeah, so that goes without saying. Especially if you um, uh, sleeve your cards. It gets really thick. Draw three cards and place them face up in the three slots of the crowd card track. The card to the right most is the active crowd card. So you have crowd cards as well, too. So that's pretty cool. All right. So very, very clear graphic design here. And not rules dense. I mean, this is 12 pages, medium-sized print. It's not large, it's not small. A lot of graphics, clearly defining the symbols, tokens, calculating your movement, examples of movement. Very, very, very nice. So it's basically like Thunder Chariot, Chariot Alley, maybe. I don't know, I don't know, but I don't know how it plays. But pretty nice. Okay. A lot of high, this game is highly rated by a lot of people who've already played it. I've not had a chance to yet, obviously, but we'll go from there. Okay, so, and then the last page is designer's notes. So, cool. I invented Chariotero while hiking in the Alps. In the summer of 17, I walked from Meringen to Murin over several beautiful days as I walked, imagined a racing game with four types of moves and trade offs for each decision. Very cool. All right. So you get the rule book, 12 pages. You're gonna get two mounted maps. So I think these go end to end to make a large track. We'll open those and take a look at them in just a second. All right, so the two maps are four panels. So rather than do a eight panel large map, these are 17 by 22 and they're just the two ends and they're going to go side by side here. So you get the little, get the little crowd on the border. And then your, where your lap counter is going to go, your card deck is going to go, your movement spaces. So there's the left half. And here is the right half. Very nicely mounted, got the white backing on them. So there must have been something about, about because normally they do eight panel maps going this way. So there must have been something with the process of trying to make it this way that would have been too unwieldy. The emperor die, and then you get the crowd. Very nice, so they go end to end to make your long map. Okay, now we've got our, uh, these are like your team cards or your charioteer cards for the players. So two to six, probably six of them. We've got blue. They seem to be the same same mechanisms for each 
they're not asymmetrical. We got gray, we got green, we got yellow, we've got fuchsia, and we got dark blue. So six player ref player cards, player boards. We got a draw bag. And this is an interesting. We have blocks that may or may not be wooden. I'm gonna actually take some of these out because these are not stickered. These are pre-printed. They're like painted. Normally I don't open blocks because they're not, there's blocks and you gotta stick stickers on them. But in this case, they are wooden. You can see the grain on them. But they are pre-printed, screen printed with different values. Minus three on your card hand, on your hand size probably, plus five on your speed, plus five on your fire, I guess. But very nice, very smooth, definitely screen printed. They're not, you know, uh, embossed or uh, engraven or anything like that. So that is really, wow, what a big step up that is in the production. Now we're going to have to start seeing all the other block games from GMT done with this and no more stickers. That would be cool. Probably drive the cost up a bunch. So you got some more of these. Got health indicators, I would guess. Whips. We got, our, got some tracking markers. And then we got our chariots. Our one, two, three, six, six chariot meeples. It's going to be a new thing, something I've never thought I'd say, is Chariot Meeples. <clears throat> we'll get out dark blue, the best of the colors. We got the, we got the silhouette of the charioteer with, the, with his cape flying back and the horse. Very nice. I mean, nice if they had screen printed those with a little more, uh, a little more graphic to them, but uh, not going to complain. Then we've got a, just a generic kind of brick colored wooden tile. I'm sure it has some meaning. All right, so there is that. And we've got blue tracking cubes and then more. I guess you call them counters, tokens, whatever. That's, that's really nice. That is really, really cool. So I'll throw all those back in here. You can fresh. Wow. They have raised the bar here. And then we've got our Emperor die. It's a six sided die. Yeah, it's got, let's see, we got yellow, green. Uh, it looks like wild card. And then flames, red, and then curve, and then fight, combat. And we got curve. And then we've got. Let's see. Oh, this is the stickers. Uh, this, we do have stickers. We have a wooden block with stickers. So that rust colored block is going to get these lap one, lap two tracking stickers added to them. Affixed, as the word is used. Then we've got that stack of charioteer cards. I can see why they would say it might get too tall. Wow. And then we've got the, the skills deck. So let's take a look at some of those cards. All right, so this is the skills deck or the, yeah, the skills deck. And as you see here, I had what I was calling a flame is actually attack. The corner is actually the corner. Uh, yellow is recovery and green looks like a hurricane is sprint. And they go in different orders, as you can see here. And so you shuffle these and use them based on the order that you're given. And then we have the charioteer deck. We'll look at a few of these because this truly is the charioteer deck this has got to be like 140 something cards let's see 147 cards in the charioteer deck so we'll look at a few of those just to see what they are <clears throat> so you have let's see what do we have here you have uh six sprint twice one attack six six two six six four and all these, of course, I mean, they're just variations of the theme, and they've got whips. So these are just variations. Like he said in the designer's notes, having the four basic moves and the cause and the trade-offs based on each one. 
So you just got a whole assortment of different combinations of those four different moves and how they play out. It's in the rule book. But now I want to play this. So if you get a copy, and you should, probably should, of Charioteer Race for Glory in Ancient Rome by GMT Games, designed by Matt Calkins, you're going to get that small deck of skills. You're going to get the 147 ugh, beast stack of Charioteer cards. You're going to get that one Emperor die. You're going to get this massive bag of wooden pre-screen printed blocks and then one block that you have to put them on and some tracking markers Whew. you're gonna get the draw bag you're gonna get the sticker sheet for the lap counter four player control boards two mounted maps that go together to make one 17 by 44 inch game board wow it's not all the back in the box is it Let's see what we can do here yeah, wooden tokens. And the simple 12 page rule book for Charioteer Rise for Glory in Ancient Rome by GMT Games. Designed by Matt Calkins. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!